Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Lawn Mowing Simulator. Yes, I've gone back in time. As some of you know, before I was doing civil engineering, I was doing lawn mowing and a bit of power washing. But oh my, I am excited. Let's get in. Right, so this is me. Yes, face reveal, apparently. I need to enter a company name. The strongest. So our company name is the strongest S because it couldn't allow me to finish my sentence. And we also get to pick a company logo. Oh God, this is dangerous. Oh no, I've got to pick a pre-selected one. Where's the fun in that game? Where's the fun in that? None of these look like the strongest shape. I'll go with that, that is disappointing. That is disappointing. So my name is Matt. I'm literally going to be doing my first job reveal right now. Uh, nope, that is not what I look like. Oh no, I've aged terribly. <laughs> There's a lot of characters. And fair play, they're in quite a lot of detail as well. Oh, I can rotate them. Oh, if I unclick my mouse. Oh no, she doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't like being spun too quick. Oh, there you go. Whoa. <laughs> All right, so what did I look like when I was like 15? I'm going to say maybe that one. A bit of stubble. I was an early bloomer, okay? <laughs> oh my god, I can change my hat. Yep, I feel like that's definitely something I would have worn. Oh no, I've broken the game. Well, that's the end of Lawn Mowing Simulator. You uh, pick your hat color and that's the end of the game. But yeah, it looks looks like we're looks like we're restarting, unfortunately. Right, so we're back. I'm not gonna change my hat this time. Too risky. Uh, I can place the logo just on the front. I think professionals just have a logo on the front. Uh, and the colours, yes. Oh, I'm literally this is gonna be my literal outfit from when I worked at the garden. I think it was that sort of green. Oh, are you kidding me? I can't change any colours without a bloody break it. Oh, there you go. It worked. Ignore that. I wasn't I wasn't swearing. Sweet. Confirm. Do I risk trying to change my hat? Now, to be fair, I think that is actually what I sort of look like. This is awesome. I'm loving this. Oh my god, look how many mowers there are. Oh, all the big boys. Wow, this is cool. Although, having a little look through, I'm a little bit, a little bit disappointed, you could say. So these are all rotary mowers. So the blades are all horizontal and spin like under there. When I worked in the garden, I actually used a cylinder mower, which is like, has cylinders that spin around. Uh, but still, let's start with a classic sort of ride on the garden lawnmower. Well, if you've got a big garden, I guess. Uh, we can test drive. Shall we take it for a test drive? Oh my god, what's going on with those bins? Right, anyway. Okay, this is freaking crazy. Look how good looking this is. Oh my god, that's like the best grass I've ever seen in a game. I mean, I guess that's probably to be expected, seeing as it's a lawnmower simulator. Right, anyway, our lawnmower's been left on a trailer. Oh, look, it's even got grass on the trailer. Oh, just having a little stretch. Psyching myself up. Right, press Z to turn her on. Nice. Use I and T to change the vehicle's throttle. Yeah, it's generally on mowers you can change the throttle. So you've got like this one, which is just sort of just an idle. And then you can you can ramp it up. And uh, this is what you use for like driving and cutting and all sorts. So, oh, look at us. Yes. His head moves. <laughs> all right. So this is me. We're following the arrows and we're heading to the test lawn, I think. No, nope, maybe not. Maybe not. Ignore that. We're going onto the lawn to cut some grass. Yes, yeah, so we've actually left tire marks from where we've driven. Sweet. Right, okay. All right, adjust the old ear defenders. I'd usually have some music on under there. All right, so blades are on. Warning, I'm cutting at the wrong height. Oh, God, what's the right height? All right, here we go. You want to do edges first. Always do your edges. Go nice and close to that log. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Not too close to the logs, Matt. Not too close. All right, mind, mind the plants. Get nice and under those bushes. I mean, usually I'd probably come back with an actual push along mower to do these these edges. It's like it's a bit of a pain trying to get this like under the bushes and stuff. Look at the dirt kicking up as well. The graphics on this are insane. Yeah, I'm really doing a bad job with these edges as well. I'm also stuck in a bush. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> right, so with the perimeter done, we sort of we gotta we gotta work out where we want our stripes to go. You'd either use sort of one edge. Or if like this, there isn't a straight edge, it's sort of aim maybe from here and I'd just say we're doing a straight line. So turn the blades back on, straight line. Oh, by holding control, you can engage pro view. So I think pro view is like in power wash simulator, it just highlights everything. Yeah, there you go. Highlights everything. Cool. Good to know. Yeah, unfortunately, my line has picked a tree. <laughs> Not the best. Not the best. All right. Hopefully we're on the same line as before. Oh God, I'm going all over the place. All right. And then we're at the end. Let's be honest, I'd probably do an extra, like, little width. And this just acts as, like, our turning circle. All right, so now we can sort of line up with our last stripe. Oh, God. The left and right is so sensitive. These are not the straightest stripes I've ever done. But I, I also would have gone round all the trees first as well. And try not to jab myself on that bloody branch. I nearly punctured a lung. Then when we get back here, hopefully my strips are long enough. I can do a turn. Oh, no, they're not long enough at all. And then we're back. And oh, my God. Did that just... 
And yes, that's made me very excited. So a lot of people, when they sort of first have a little go at mowing, they don't realise if you turn too quick, you're going to churn up the grass. Especially if it's a bit damp, if it's not like middle of summer. Uh, and that's exactly what I've done here. So that's really cool little detail. Uh, my stripes are terrible. <laughs> Look at the grass I've missed. Anyway, I think we've had a test drive. Let's get onto a real lawn and make some money. All right, so now I get to choose which one of these I purchase. Uh, my company has three grand and the mower I just test drive costs 2,149. However, there is also this one, which instantly is cooler because it's black. But there's actually some major differences between these ones. So this one, you can see there's a box on the back. And that means it collects the grass. So you can see up here, hopper capacity, 240 litres. So that's a volume of grass it can hold. Uh, whereas this one is called a mulcher. So this doesn't pick up the grass. They're designed, if you're going to be mowing a lawn like every single day, it leaves a little bit of grass behind. Just acts a bit like a fertilizer. I really don't know what one to choose. I might just stick with, I'll stick with what I know for now. All right, so this is the map and this is incredible. Look at this. I'm going to assume looking at how green it is, and like the road layouts. This is probably based in the UK. Oh yes, everything's in pounds. We are in Britain. Oh, and there's a thatch cottage. Oh God, that reminds me of the one I power hosed in Power Wash Simulator. All right, so this is our first contract. The front garden of the old nook cottage. The lawn is surrounded by flower beds, so take care not to damage them. And don't leave grass clippings in the bed. So it's a good thing I picked this mower. I don't know what would have happened if I used the other mower that doesn't pick up the grass. So they want a five to six centimeter grass height. That sounds quite a lot. I'm guessing it's not. And it's currently 13 to 20 centimeters long. That's pretty long grass. Have we got four minutes to check the ground? And they recommend we cut it in 26 minutes. Well, that's not too painful. Assign an employee. Oh my god, I get to hire my own crew. But yes, we're only a small company at the moment, so I'll pick my handsome self. And my vehicle, of course, our yellow beast. The Stigger Estate. Uh, never heard of Stigger, Steiger. I assume that probably is a real make. I just haven't heard of it. But anyway, let's confirm the contract. We are going to do it. We'll get 330 quid in the bank. 330 quid for mowing a lawn. Easy cash, man. Oh my god, these people are loaded. Look at this classic car. That is insane. And they got a Porsche 4x4 in there. I really should not be having a mosey around their property, really. But a nice antique bicycle hanging up. Look at this barbecue. Oh my god, these people must be loaded. No wonder they're giving me 330 quid to do their lawn. Like, where is their lawn? I'm like, <laughs> I'm literally just like wandering around their house. Is it down here? Oh, it's down here. Right, okay. No. Oh, wow, this is an awesome freaking garden. Look at the trees and stuff. Right, crap. I've only got two minutes 30 left. Right, so before we do any sort of mowing, we've got to, like, move objects out of the way. There's a gnome. Is this by the same people as Power Wash Simulator? Because that, that game had lots of gnomes as well. Oh, there's a poo. <laughs> there's a poo. Pick up the poo. I don't, know, I don't know where I put that. That's kind of worrying. Is that a newspaper? Why the hell is there a newspaper just out on the lawn? Anything around here? Oh, look, some loppers. Pick them up. Definitely don't want to mow over those. Uh, and apparently there's one more There's one more item. Oh, here it is. What is that? Oh, a tennis ball. We've obviously got a dog or something. All right, so I'm just scouting out. I'm wondering how, what's the best plan of attack for this. I mean, I would I would love to do stripes this way in line with the patio, but uh, not much of a turning circle, is there? Uh, tell you what, they might like stripes if they look out going straight down. That could be quite nice. And I can turn around on the patio as well. So, oh, wow, they've got a field and everything. Can I get in here and mow the field? I want to mow the field. Look, there's a phone box there. We're definitely in the UK. Did someone just drop me here and then drive off? Like, where's my car? <laughs> right, anyway, let's get involved. Right, starter up. Throttle up. And let's go. Careful not to crash into their very smart car. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, sorry. I'm just turning my lawnmower around. I just... Oh, sorry. I hit your car. Oh, and your house. <laughs> Scraping up the side. Oh, it looks like that did actually hurt my vehicle condition. Oops. Anyway, we are in here. Right, so the cut height, I'm pretty sure they said they wanted... Was it six centimeters? So if we lower that down to six. I think six is fine. And then we'll start the blades. Nice, and we're off. And as usual, we'll, we'll do the edges first. Trying not to destroy their flowers. Go, oh, there's even cars driving past on the road. That's so cool. Look at it, there's a car. Sorry, keep my eye on the lawn. Keep my eye on the lawn. So I'm going to do this as realistically as possible. So I'd go around all the edges. Nice. Wow, you can tell people are rich when they got like a proper bench in their garden. I'll probably come back to do that entrance. I'll just keep doing this. Nice. I'll probably do another little stripe just so we got a turning circle. Especially down this end after my test drive. I need to do quite a thick turning area. Oh man, I'm going to be playing this for hours, I can tell. All right, so we've turned around. We'll do this. Oh man. To be honest, I don't even know if it's worth doing stripes. 
because this doesn't have a roller on. So when you look at lawns and you see like the nice stripes, I think about like when you're watching like football, you can see all the stripes on the pitch. Uh, that's actually because there's a roller on the back of the mowers and that sort of flattens the grass after you've cut it. It's basically like a big steel cylinder, but uh, yeah, you don't get that with this type of lawnmower, which is a bit of a shame. Oh man, this is like so satisfying. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving this. All right, let's have a look then. Let's try and get a straight stripe. Oh god, I'm moving all over the place. <laughs> Okay, that looked good. We'll turn around a bit gently. Usually, like on a mower like this, you probably would raise the blades before trying to turn around. All right, now straight. Oh, look at the straight lines. Oh, God. I moved a bit. Nice. Turn around on their patio. And straight lines again, baby. Oh, this is so good. Oh, no, the, the last straight. Can you see I left a little bit? My overlap was no good. So to be the most efficient mower ever, you've got to get your overlaps just right so i think on this we sort of want that front wheel just on the stripe and then when we look back perfect look at that line oh yes here we go here we go oh that is beautiful all right now we've come to a bed so rather than continuing my stripe i would actually just work around the edge of this and i'm pretty sure <laughs> it can't just be me seeing that that flower bed that's a knob shape that is a knob shaped flower bed if i've ever seen one that is a knob. That is a knob. Which makes it even more satisfying to mow around. Alright, so one more lap. And then we'll go back onto our stripe. Here we go. Decent. Right, turn around. I don't know why I'm doing stripes. There's literally no need. As I said before, we don't have a roller. Can't see anything. But I just can't help myself. It's just more satisfying to see it go in stripes for some reason. And just in my head, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing properly. Alright, I'm not, I'm not going to do stripes between these. I probably would in real life. But, uh... I think we just got to mow this now. Well, you can sort of see my stripes, actually. Anyway, all right. All right, then. All right, then. So maybe for here, we'll actually want to pick our stripe. Like that. So we'll go dead straight, keeping our eyes ahead. You want to focus on, like, one one sort of area. And then we want to line up perfectly through the trees. And there we go. There we go. I think that was a good stripe. Oh, yeah, that looks good. That does look good, actually. So back when I used to work in that garden, and I used to mow, like, every day of my life... It's all good doing stripes like this, but um, it does, like, over time, sort of, like, flatten the grass. So where you've got your nice stripes, the grass sort of gets used to being cut in that direction. So, oh my god, look how satisfying that is. I'm sorry, but that is insane. Like, just look at that. That is beautiful. So yeah, generally you want to mow in, like, one direction. And then either, either the same day, or sometimes just, like, every other cut. You actually want to either alternate your stripes. Like, so if you were going this direction down a stripe the next time you cut it you want to go the other direction that just like lifts the grass back up just so it gets cut a bit better or you can actually go 90 degrees and sort of cut it again like in the same cutting session <laughs> yeah, so that would create like a nice sort of like a crisscross pattern yeah, and i think i've actually got a photo <laughs> this is really sad but i've actually got a photo of when i worked in that garden i used to mow their croquet lawn with a push along cylinder mower yes they had a croquet lawn <laughs> It was a manor house, what do you expect? Uh, the owner was very, very protective of his croquet lawn. Now, as you can see from the photo, lovely little crisscross pattern going on. Uh, on the diagonal as well. Pretty impressed with that one. This is so fun. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like it's not quite as satisfying to watch, perhaps, as uh, the old power wash simulator. But it's almost more satisfying to play. I'm pretty sure there's another camera angle as well. Let's have a look. All right, so V. Oh, we got first person. Oh, it's like I'm actually there. Oh, yeah, this is good. This is way better. Oh, this is actually like I'm there. If only this was VR. And if only I owned a VR headset. Right, so on this stripe, I'm going to go and do a circle. I'm worried I'm, like, ruining plants. I think it might be okay. And then we'll carry on with our stripe. Oh, beautiful. Beautifully lined up that. All right, another stripe. Then this is where you got to keep going around the flower bed to get your stripes going. A little bit annoying, but it's worth it. Oh, man. <laughs> Why am I loving this so much? I don't know. I remember when I was actually mowing all day on minimum wage. Like, it's 30 freaking degrees in the heat. You're out in the bare sun. Bloody two litre diesel engine between your legs, sweating your nuts off. Pay packet at the end of the week barely pays your phone bill. And I remember saying to myself, it's sort of why I went into engineering. I was like, so although I did enjoy being a gardener, I sort of said to myself at the time, like, because it, it was so little money. I sort of said, like, if you ever earn, like, double this, 
Like, you must never complain about whatever job you're doing. And then sure enough, my first job out of uni, doing engineering, did pay more than double that. No, it didn't take long before I was complaining. <laughs> and I feel like the complaining did sort of give me that feeling, like, the grass is always greener. Like, I think people do just complain about their job, whatever it is. Although saying that, if I could do YouTube full-time, I do not think I'd complain. Absolutely love making videos. Now, with the cutting complete, you now need to drive back to the trailer to leave the location. If you have any time left, you can use it to clean up the grass clippings left on the path. All right, okay. I'll have a look at that. I'm actually going to finish the lawn, because I haven't finished. There's a tuft. Look, I haven't even done these. I'm doing this job properly. I don't care what you say, game. I will be the judge of what is done, not you. I swear it's a bit different to Power Wash Sim. Power Wash Sim, you have to do everything, like 100%. Uh, this game seems to be a bit more lenient, which I guess is a good thing. All right, let's return to the trailer. Oh, sorry, sorry, Mr. Jaguar. Oh, oh, my bad. I'm just reversing. Oh, I'm just trying to turn around, sorry. I wonder if they'll invite me back. Right, and the lawn is complete. It don't look too bad. It does look a bit scruffy, actually. Yeah, I don't know if I'm happy with that, actually. There, there are stripes. There are stripes. Around... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Will they be happy with that? Would I be happy with that? I mean, it's cut. You can't say it's not cut. Right, let's have a look at the... Oh, no. Oh, no, I got a fine. <laughs> For the collisions. 54 quid. I'm pretty sure the damage I did to that car would have been more than 54 quid. But balls. I didn't realise that. Oh, I destroyed one pound's worth of flowers. And that was it. Otherwise, did a damn good job, I think. All right, so as you can see, I've, I've, got, I've got these bars here. So I did a bit of damage to my vehicle. I think that was from accidentally bumping that classic car. Uh, blades wear down over time. I think they I think they wear down more if you're like over pavement rather than grass. Uh, your fuel runs out, obviously. And the grass bag gets filled up. So presumably I've got to pay to fix all this. Now I will refuel it. Uh, that will cost me two pounds and five pence. So definitely do that. Uh, empty the grass. Costs nothing. Good to know. Let's see how much. Six quid to fix the blades. Oh, nine pence to fix the engine. <laughs> how does that work? What costs nine pence that will possibly fix an engine? Anyway, she's fully repaired now. Uh, we'll go back to our map. It looks like we have our next job, Kingsbury House. We'll select you for this map. Good work. And of course, my trusty yellow steed. All right, so here we are. Another bloody thatched roof. Blimey. We have got some tasty clients, I'll tell you that. Another massive barbecue, picnic bench. Ooh, nice little greenhouse. What are they, what are they planting? The garden looks pretty intricate, though. It looks lovely, to be fair. Oh, and these are grass bags. So these are like bulk bags. This is literally what we do with the grass. So we sort of mow all the grass and then we would come and fill up these sorts of bags. And then afterwards we'd, we'd come in the quad on the trailer, we'd load these up and then put them on a compost heap in my actual grass cutting job. Oh, look at that dirt. I want to power hose it. I want to power hose it. This is pretty snazzy this. It looks like it's made out of oak or something. Uh, we've got a little toy car, looks like. Pick that up. Oh, another poo. Gross. That's something I had to do in my actual job. They had swans. And actually, it was a bastard swan. His name was Fred. He was like black and red. I probably have a photo of him. Uh, but he was just evil. <laughs> evil. And honestly, he'd constantly attack you. Yeah, he was literally not afraid of anyone. Oh, look. What's this? What's this? It's a frisbee. Pick that up. Oh, look. It's flat on the grass. That's cool. Oh my God. Look how like detailed the town is. It's like a church. Like huge pylons. Uh, oh. Sorry, I'm stood in your flowers. I'm stood in your flowers. But yeah, this might be a lawn where we don't do stripes. I think stripes could be a bit of a pain. I sort of wish, like the power wash game, that this had a time lapse at the end. So you could watch your lawn being time lapsed. These sorts of like edges where there's like a flower bed. Now you'd do all your mowing with your machine, but uh, you'd actually come back afterwards with uh, some edge trimmers. Now they look like these, like massive scissors on a stick. And tell you what, that's freaking satisfying. Like going around the edge. Sometimes you'd have to half moon it. So this is a half moon tool. And that's proper puts like a vertical edge between like the lawn and the flower bed. But uh, to actually cut the grass like on the corner, you would just use the edge trimmers. Like some people, if they're a bit like less patient, they'd just use like a strimmer there. Like a motorized thing that like a bit of cable flings around on. I'll just show you what it looks like. Strimmer. This is a strimmer. I don't know why I'm trying to describe it. Just show the image, Matt. Just show the image. But yeah, we, fa we found the uh, strimmers. They're a, bit, they're a bit messy. They're very noisy as well. Obviously, we're, the garden's open to the public. So we are just gardening while the public are walking around. So you want to reduce machinery, really. And obviously, edge, edge trimmers. Really nice little tool. Obviously, silent. Yeah, but generally, good tool. Would recommend. <laughs> what is... What is <laughs> I was like so confused as to what 
like these sorts of games have turned my channel into. Like I'm literally just giving people gardening advice now. <laughs> oh dear, it's funny, it's funny. Like they came for the bridges and stayed for the lawn advice. <laughs> right, we're going to do some stripes along here because this looks pretty good for stripage. And yes, stripage is definitely the technical term for doing stripes. Definitely. Bloody can't help myself doing stripes, can I? I said I wasn't going to at the start of this map, but here I am doing stripes. <laughs> right, this is quite a tight turning circle. If I go slow, I should just about do it. I missed that bit. And across the path, not the best. It looks a bit gravelly. Wouldn't advise driving across a gravelly path. Uh, but if it's paving and it's flush, no problems with that at all. I find it quite annoying that the mouse is on screen as well. Like, it's always bugging me. Just like, what are you looking at? Or maybe it's just my computer being weird. Don't know. I have restarted the game and it's still there. So I tried to get rid of it, guys. If it's ruining the illusion that this is real. <laughs> All right, here we go. Another stripe. Oh, man, I am loving my life at the moment. This is so fun. Why is it so fun? I don't understand. Menial tasks should not be enjoyable, especially in a video game. Like, I don't even I don't get this lawn. I don't actually get paid. Why am I enjoying this so much? Oh, look, this is cool. Look, at it is cool. You can't, you cannot, you cannot disagree with me. I'm proper getting the hang of the old, like, controls now. Like, turn around as quickly as I can. Oh, shit. Oh, no, I cocked it up. I got cocky. I missed a stripe. Right, I'm going to go around this central structure thing. I don't know what it's called. Why are you still doing stripes? You are an idiot. It's taking so much longer. I don't even know if it looks better. But I tell you what, my box is taking a lot of grass. So I've been mowing for 11 minutes now. It's only, it's only a third full. That's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to do stripes down this end as well. Uh, it's a shame I don't have enough money to buy that other mower. I sort of wanted to see what it was like. But oh man, this is... <laughs> something about this. Just loving it. Absolutely loving it. It's when you get like your turning circle perfected and you're just bang on the stripe. Like look at that, that's no turning required. If you can do it in one movement, straight back onto the stripe. Perfect. Ooh, I can actually smell cut grass. Oh, that's weird. That's really weird. That's like phantom smells. Oh, does anyone else smell that? Wait, there's no one here, Matt. They're in a video. Oh, it's really nice. I feel like there isn't a better smell than a freshly cut lawn. Well, maybe bacon, actually. Bacon is a good smell. Oh, and puppy paws. Puppy paws smell incredible. But yep, let's keep the stripes going. That's what we're all about now. Stripes are us. Oh, that's what I should have called my company. Oh, I'm living in regret. I'm living a life of regret now. Why am I doing stripes here? What is wrong with me? Now, I'll tell you what, sod, sod striping this. I'm just going to do this way stripes. Oh, I can't because there's stripes this end. i got to do stripes. I'm sorry. It's going to take a while. <laughs> It'll be worth it. These stripes are ridiculous. They're so short. <laughs> this is so inefficient. Oh, this is a weird camera angle. This is like top down. It's like there's a drone following me. Right. Oh, now we've got super zoomed out view. That's pretty cool. Right. I feel like we're nearly there. We've got this little bit to do. Oh, yes. Look at the progress bar flying up. That's what we're all about. I am wondering, have I done everything else good enough? Are there any tough? There are a few little tufts floating about. But uh, the last level was pretty lenient, so we'll see if this one is as well. All right, ready? Last stripe. Oh no, it's nowhere near done. Have I missed a bit of lawn or something? All right, let's hop off. Have I? Oh, I've missed that bit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've done everything else, right? So I would have noticed the engine went off as I got off the machine. That's actually like a built-in safety feature. So basically under the seat, there's like a little button. And now when it's got weight on it, it means everything runs as you would expect. Oh god, I didn't bloody... I've just been mowing without the blades, damn it. But yeah, as soon as, as, soon as you take weight off the seat, the engine will cut out completely. Quite a nice little safety feature, to be honest. Yeah, but it is annoying because sometimes you go over like a really lumpy lawn, like too fast. And it cuts out because you've like bounced off your seat. Yeah, pretty funny. Anyway, let's press... What was it? Tab? What's the... Pro oh no, it was control, wasn't it? Oh god, I left loads of grass. All right, there we go. We completed 26 minutes. Uh, pretty tidy though. I'll take that. All right, so I want to turn the blades off. So that's Z. And now I, can, I may as well enter the grass while I'm here, right? I've got to reverse into it and then hold F to empty. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> what was that all about? Oh, wow, there's actually grass in it now. So the grass magically flew into the bag and you can actually see it in there. That's pretty cool. Right, let's drive her up. And we are good to go. Look at our lovely lawn. Again, wish there was a time lapse. But at least you can, you can see part of our stripes. Ignore that bit. That was quite bad. But doesn't that look better? Lovely. Right, so our only penalties this time were 50 pence for a collision. 
And 72 for ground damage. I guess I turned too quickly or something. Uh, but we got 345 quid. Nice. Um, we've, we've unlocked a new garden. Miller Brook. Oh no, that's the end. So that was only, that was only a quick demo. The Steam Next Fest demo. Uh, but really, really enjoyed that. That was fantastic. Really looking forward to the main game. But yeah, lovely. Thank you guys. Hope you found that as satisfying as I did playing it. Uh, peace, love, and lawn mowers. I'll catch you next time. Bye.